What's up? What's up? AW here. I just saw Deadpool Wolverine today in theaters, in my local theaters, whatever. I just saw the movie Deadpool Wolverine. This is going to be a review, non spoiler review. There's going to be a spoiler review, but that's going to be a stream. That's going to be Sunday. Sunday, we're going to do a spoiler stream on Sunday because it's going to be a busy Friday and Saturday on this channel. I'm going to let you know that at the end of the video, where I plan for tomorrow and Saturday. Nothing tonight, but yeah, so I'll tell you at the end of the video. Before I get into what I thought about this movie, this review, not spoilers once again. Sunday will be spoilers. And all right, so what I'm going to tell you about this uh, before I get into this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that things. If you check out my channel for the first time and you like what you see, yeah, please subscribe and, and smash the like button down below. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of this movie. Yes, once again, anticipated, most anticipated movie of the year, maybe, maybe, didn't live up to the hype, to the, the hype that it was generating online with all the promotion, all the marketing towards this movie. Okay. How am I going to say? Yes, and a little bit no. I'm not going to say fully no, but a little bit no. And I'm going to tell you why a little bit no later on. But overall, I like the movie. Okay? I like the movie. I like the movie. So it was a solid movie. Good, solid movie. One of the better Marvel movies we had in, year, in, the, in, in years. One of the better ones. Especially, especially the last two years. Guardians, obviously, is the best one from last year. And this is the only movie this year. So technically... It has no other movie to compete with in the MCU, so this is the best inverse MCU movie of the year, if you if you look at it that way. But so yes, I thought it was a solid movie. So I'm gonna try to get into uh, what I thought about overall this movie. And there's some things I didn't like and negative stuff I'll say about this movie, but I'll try my best not to spoil. So I like bit of the story. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the story is kind of the weak point. It's a little messy story. The but before I get to that, because that's negative, positive. I do like the chemistry with Warren Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. I uh, I honestly think I'm gonna say this. I think Hugh Jackman outshined Warren Reynolds in this movie. <laughs> He's clear. Uh, I like Wolverine better in this movie. He's more. Broken, broken down, and you saw the trailers, but in the trailers, like a broken down Wolverine, and and you'll see why why uh, Deadpool has to uh, recruit this Wolverine. It's in the story. There's a reason why. I'm not gonna spoil the reason why. Why Deadpool needs to uh, get Wolverine or Logan, whatever, for in in this movie for story purposes, okay. It's about, I'll just say it's about saving his universe. Okay? The, the TV is involved and uh, all that. So I thought Hugh Jackman was the best part of this film. I, the, like I said, the chemistry was good. The chemistry was good. The action scenes were good. It's gory. The beginning is really gory. The thing is that the, towards towards the end, it's actually become a little bit less gory in some scenes. I think it's because it's the big, there's like a big, kind of like a short, big battle. I mean, I mean short Screen time short, like five minutes, but it was a kind of a big battle. I'm not gonna spoil because there's. I'm gonna say this. you're gonna be excited if you're gonna be excited who appears in this movie. Because if you're here for cameos, you might you might be excited and you might be disappointed. It's, uh, I'm just gonna warn you, people who haven't seen this, don't get too hyped for cat expecting a lot of cameos. Okay, in this movie, I'll just let you know. Tone down your expectations for cameos if you haven't seen it yet. If you've seen it, you understand what I'm talking about. All right, but there's some people you're gonna recognize. Recognize. I'll just let you uh, and uh, I'll let you uh, get excited when you see the movie. And, okay. Also, also, I, uh, the actions. I thought the dog was fine. I think this movie was. Yeah, you got Deadpool. It was all jokes and stuff. But he was. There's times where Deadpool was very, very serious, serious and emotional. Where Hugh Jackman was, the, his Wolverine, he was fully emotional. This movie, yeah, there's jokes and all, but like, there's some scenes where he needed to be serious and stuff. 
And I know Marvel has this thing with the jokes take away from the heart, the heart of the movies, right? Where we need we're, this with the joking, with the with too many jokes, the over, the over. What did I say? Yeah, the overplay of jokes sometimes outshines the important parts of character development, and like. Right when the serious stuff needs to be told, you can't really joke about this. And I know Deadpool uses jokes as a coping mechanism. Okay, Wolverine when he jokes is kind of a sarcastic tone, angry, obviously. Uh, Wolverine, but I'll say it's like it reminds me. It's like the, 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 the those scenes. It's kind of like Guardians, like how James got into Guardians, different than Thor. Because, you know, the one thing people complain about Thor, Love and Thunder. Yeah, villain, obviously. But there was a lot of serious stuff in Thor. And I felt like the jokes were kind of gone away at times. But Guardians did it perfectly well. Okay. And I felt like this film had it too. Despite Deadpool being a comedic kind of character. It kind of reminds you of Deadpool also. Not Deadpool. This is Deadpool. Peacemaker. Okay. So the chemistry between them both is great. Um, between Hugh and Ryan. That's good. Uh, the story is okay. So it's not comp- It's not a complicated story. Marvel doesn't make the movies complicated at all. Even if it's technically Fox. Still, it's not a complicated story. But it's a little bit of a mess. So the negatives about this movie, I could I could go on and tell you the good stuff, but I'll, I would be spoiling, and I'm not gonna do that. So the negatives, 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 negatives about this movie. It's a little messy. There were some things in this movie that not needed to be in this movie. It had nothing to do with the story. It was just there for laughs, just for laughs. And yeah, I I I'm understanding you. I understand there's fans who are gonna like that. So I have no problem with that. Like people, if you're excited for that, okay. If you just like to see us laugh and stuff. At what I'm talking about, because I'm not going to go in detail about what I'm talking about, so i But there's some stuff in this film that wasn't really necessary to the overall story, but was funny. And okay. Uh, also, the villain, Cassandra Nova. Okay, look, she's better than some recent Marvel villains, but not my bunch. She's a little better than the Captain Mar- the Marvel's villain, a little bit better. I, despite the over top Marvel's villain, she had kind of a, a reason for the way she is. Her, Cassandra Nova, uh, it's really, really boring. I want to say boring. She's very powerful. Don't get me wrong. She's very, very powerful. And very, very, uh, I want to say sadistic, but like, she's a little bit quirky, worry. Um, um, but yeah, she's uh, Professor Xavier's sister. If you know the comics, I'm just that's not a spoiler again. Um, that you know, Professor Xavier is not in the movie. So if you're getting excited for that, Professor Xavier, Patrick Stewart, or James McAvoy, not in the movie at all. So I'm not spoiling anything, you guys. Um, but she is the sister of Professor Xavier, and she kind of um, wants this um, mutant, uh, mutant. I want to say hangout, but the, in the void, yeah, the void's in this. If you watch Loki, you know what I'm talking about the void. Yeah, so she kind of wants this. She kind of controls the void. She tries to take over the void, right? Won the void. And she has a bunch of mutants. You see the, you see the who I'm talking about in the trailers before. She they work for her. Um, well, she's like, you could have done more with her. I I understand her motivation, but to me, it's like it's very generic, very. I want to say that's just a boring, just average, generic. Like, she's kind of like, doesn't really play. A, she's not one of those villains where the villains intertwine with the characters. I guess, I guess it's a Marvel thing. It's a Marvel issue with the villains. They sometimes don't, they don't, the, over the years, they don't do well with the villains. Even, 
even as they even you get more experience with uh, Marvel, with Marvel, even you get more experience with more movies and more shows coming out. The one thing to forget to do is how to build up some villains. You build up some villains. She's clearly one of them. She's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Better than the Marvel's villain, but even though the Marvel villains, I think their motivation is a little better because there's a reason why she she was stealing all these resources, these natural resources. Here is uh, you'll understand why she wants to enjoy where she's staying. <laughs> and uh, and when I mean by enjoy by you staying where she's staying, uh, I'll tell you why in the spoiler review. Because if you see the movie, you understand why. But that's not much it here. Motivation is basically, it's not revenge against Xavier or anything like that. It's not revenge. You would think it's the revenge, but it's not revenge. Um, she, and that's about it, really. I could go on. So, other night, yeah, there's a little bit out of place stuff. Some stuff in this movie is not necessary for the movie. Shouldn't, it's necessary didn't further the plot. Didn't have anything to do with the plot. Uh, but, yeah. Overall, it's a fun movie, fun, solid movie. It's a blockbuster movie. It's the best Marvel movie and the worst Marvel movie of 2024. <laughs> yeah, I'm, there's a little joke there. Because Marvel, this is the only Marvel movie coming out this year. But whatever. Uh, so that's a Dalek because I could go in more detail, but I feel like I would spoil stuff. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to end it here. But before I officially end the stream and, and ask you all this, did you see the movie? If not, are you, getting, are you more excited now by this review? So what I'm going to just say right now is Friday, we're looking at Grace Randolph because she uploaded a spoiler review, breakdown, Easter egg stuff. So we're going to look at that because there are some Easter eggs in the film that I do recognize. And we'll talk about that definitely. Okay. So that's uh, Saturday, Comic-Con stuff. We're going to be looking at all of that. DC panel, Penguin panel, and obviously Marvel Studios. And Sunday, we're going to do my official spoiler review for Deadpool and Wolverine. A lot of stuff I'm going to say in the Friday spoiler re review over uh, Grace, looking over Grace's spoiler review of the movie. I'll probably say on Sunday too. But, so yeah, Sunday will be a spoiler review on this movie. And with that, I hope to see you tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. And before I go, did you like the movie? Tell me in the comments below, yes or no. Tell me your thoughts. If you want to just expand a little bit on your thoughts of the movie, go ahead. If you ever seen the movie and you tell me in the in the, in the comments, you want, you tell me this review helped you. Uh, feel free to. But yeah, so that I look forward to the next weekend. And with that, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Take, thank you guys.